All right, Tauruses. Tauruses, Tauruses, Tauruses. All right. I see what's going on for you, Tauruses. Oh. So, Tauruses, I see some information is going to be coming out. Whatever that was happening and transpiring, you Tauruses, a whole lot of information is going to be coming out um, in this uh, um, four weeks. So, as we look at the energies in this four weeks, we are recognizing that a whole lot of information is coming out. And this is wonderful because what is transpiring, um, a lot of you are going to be recognizing and seeing what is transpiring and how things are being worked out and how things are transpiring in your world. So this is absolutely, absolutely good. The Two of Swords is opening up some sort of information that a lot of you Tauruses was not aware of. So you're coming into this period with the energy of the Two of Swords and the energy of the Two of Swords is uh, the moon in Libra. The moon in Libra. And this is very good because whenever the moon is in Libra, that means there is some sort of a secrecy around a Libra or some sort of a secret lawsuit that is going on at your company that you're not aware of. And with the moon in Libra, these secrecy are coming out and things are going to be um, transpiring in your world. So um, this is a very, very positive um Note, this is a very positive shift for, for you Tauruses, okay? So that is absolutely fabulous. Then we see the king, the queen of pentacles, the queen of pentacles. Now that is an earth to heart energy that is really um, transpiring in a wonderful way because that earth to earth energy is bringing forward a lot of uh, information, so you, um, Taurus women, could be bringing in a lot of information. So a lot of you Taurus women, whether or not you are in, uh, whether or not you have a business, however it is in the lives of you Taurus women, I see that you're going to, some sort of information, some sort of a legal situation is going to be transpired. You Taurus women are going to be recognizing something about a Libran. And who a Libran is. Then we see in the second week the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And this Knight of Pentacles is coming back to repay um, you Taurus women. So it could be a situation where some of you Taurus women are dealing with a younger person that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. Now, whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring. I see that you older women have turned your back on this young person for whatever the reason is, because this young person have created a whole lot of issues and a whole lot of problem. And you have turned your back on this young person. So what we're recognizing now is that this young person wants to come back and uh, work things out and wants to have some sort of a connection with you. But the, at the moment, you are no longer interested in this person. And this person could be trying to create some sort of a, uh, and have some sort of a secrecy going on. And you are about to shut it down because you are like, no, I have uh, no uh, connection with you, no more 
um, if it's a situation that you used to go to lunch with this person, I see you no longer are going to lunch with this person because this person could be a close colleague to you. Okay. And you know, you used to go to lunch with this person, but this is this as if, no, I no longer want to deal with this person because this person is not vibrating on a correct, um, part. So what is now happening and transpiring is that you're re, uh, rechecking yourself in order to let this young person go and for them to fend for themselves in the sense on the work floor because it's a situation where a lot of you older women were protecting this young person but something came out where you decided no longer to protect this young person so as we go into the week um the um third week what we recognize is coming up is that there is the energy of uh, the Two of Cups. And the energy of the Two of Cups is uh, um, Venus in Cancer. Venus in Cancer. So as you retrack yourself from this young person, this young person is moving um, to a Cancer person, offering their emotional comfort and uh, um, trying to look for some sort of a way in order to have some sort of a balance with uh, um, this cancer because they recognize that um, you older women are no longer submitted to this person. You older women have recognized that this person has been playing the two side of the fence and uh, is now seeing the truth. And what you have done is basically stand your grounds and release yourself from this person. And this person is now moving towards a cancer at the workplace. So here you see um, that this new person is offering a cancer, some sort of a supporting and is, uh, um, you know, connecting with a cancer at the workplace. So, so you can recognize, um, ladies and gentlemen, that some sort of a secret came out and whatever the secret is that came out, um, a lot of you women are now recognizing that a, um, a, um, a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is trying to create some sort of, a um, stability for a young, um, a cancer. And you're going to be recognizing that in the third week. In the fourth week, we have the six of wands and the energy of the six of wands is always very, very good news. So in the fourth week, there is going to be absolutely good news. The six of one is Jupiter in Leo. So a lot of you are going to be having some sort of a really, really positive news that is going to be coming in. And these positive news is going to be bringing in some sort of a balance um, on the work floor or in your business. So a wonderful, wonderful alignment of energies because people are now recognizing um, what was going on. Because um the two of swords. So if you recognize you have um and we're going to be speaking about that as we um move forward. What we recognize is that in the fourth week uh, there is going to be some really positive news that is going to be coming in because when Jupiter is in Leo, you're going to be receiving some sort of a positive news. Jupiter in Leo is about um, good news about work promotion, that sort of a thing is going to be coming up and this is going to be good. You're ending um, the month with another positive news where you have um, the moon in Taurus, the moon in Taurus. So a lot of you are going to be receiving some sort of a good news from your boss as you reach the last week because of something that some of you ladies have found out in the first week or coming into this month, you ladies have found out something. And at the end of the month, there you are speaking with your boss. And I see your boss, um, this energy of the, the moon in Taurus um, is your boss giving you some sort of a good news about some sort of a promotion um, that is going to be coming up uh, and some sort of an offer that is going to be coming into you. And this is going to be extremely, extremely wonderful. As we look at the cross and see what is happening, we see the six of uh, um, cups in the reverse. Now, the energy of the six of cups in the reverse 
the six of cups is always about the sun in scorpion but the sun is uh, um, in reverse for a young taurus Virgo, or capricorn person whoever this young taurus Virgo, or capricorn person is uh, um, that you have recognized uh, that this person was not vibrating on a positive energy. So what you have done, you have turned your back on this person. This person is also in the reverse because, because of something that some of you older people have recognized about this older person. You have turned your back to this younger person and recognize uh, what this younger person and their friends have been doing. So it, it's a situation where you could be a supervisor and you're supervising a Scorpion, a Taurus, uh, and a Capricorn. And what this young Capricorn did, this young Capricorn tried to um, create some sort of a balance because they want to have people on their side. Now, the Six of Cups, uh, the Sun in Scorpion, and um, they seem to lose their friends. They have absolutely no friends. So if you notice this young Capricorn person, because here we have the Four of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles is the Sun in Capricorn. So if you notice, you're dealing with a Scorpion and a Capricorn. So whoever this person is, is coming up for some of you as a Capricorn, for a whole lot of you for a Capricorn. And what is happening is that this person, some of you, could decide um, to release this person out of your, um, out of your, your, um, your team. And this person is now offering their service to someone in another team because you have recognized that this person have been creating a lot of issues, a lot of problems, a lot of situation in your team. And you recognize that this person, you had this person under your wings, but you recognize that this person is two-faced and have been playing a sort of a two-faced game. So whoever this young Capricorn is, because um, the, the four of pentacles is the sun in Capricorn, Whoever this young Capricorn is, you're now recognizing the, the, the mass that this young Capricorn had up. And you are now uh, recognizing that this young Capricorn, along with their co-workers and people who they collaborate with, uh, have not been um, working on a positive energy and has been um, receiving money on the false pretend. And uh, you now recognize and see the play of this young Capricorn. And this young Capricorn is now trying to gather more people in order um, to facilitate uh, some sort of a um, destructiveness of uh, some sort of an unconventional play that this person have on the work floor or in your business. Uh, so, um, you know, it's as if the boss, uh, you recognize that the play that was happening, um, because, um, if you notice all of these energies are in the reverse, all of these energies are in the reverse. And here you are recognizing the fault play that was transpiring and now is seeing exactly what was transpiring and how a situation was created by a young a Capricorn person. And now this Capricorn person, their friends and people because the relationship between you and the Capricorn person is no longer alive because you recognize what the Capricorn person that the Capricorn person was taking money on the false pretend and was um um you know taken from the company and destroyed in the company by taking um money on the unusual circumstances so I see now this Capricorn person is trying, and it can be a Capricorn, but it can be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person, is trying now to receive some sort of a new offer or some sort of a new contract. And um, because they recognize they're about to lose their job or about to be fired because you no longer support this person in whatever they were doing, you have now recognized what this person was doing. So this is a serious case that is coming up in a serious situation. Now, Taurus is what you should look out for is that you're dealing um, with the sixes, okay? The twos, the sixes, three times six. Now, the, the sixes with teamwork, it, teamwork is not um, 
running smoothly because of this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. Whoever this person is, is in the reverse. And this teamwork is not running smoothly. And now people are recognizing the foul play, what was happening and transpiring and to have a career, some sort of a, um, a stop on what was happening because this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person was not vibrating in a very positive energy. And as you recognize, the boss is going to be recognizing that because you ladies, whether or not you are a boss or a supervisor, you have seen the play from this person and you are shutting it down. You're basically shutting it down. And I see that at the end of the day, um, the bosses are going to be offering you some sort of a promotion because they recognize uh, what was going on and how money has, um, money has, uh, um, gone through the ends of, uh, um, this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. So, um, you know, ladies and gentlemen, follow us to the other side in order for us to see exactly what is going to be coming up because this is a very, very serious, serious situation that is happening and transpiring. Um, and you need to be aware of what to expect. I do love you guys. I am saying namaste until next time.